Welcome back to another badass video from Network Engineer Academy and this is video number nine. So that means that if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, make sure you go back and watch those videos because once again, I'm walking you through this process. I'm building this network, okay? And I'm going in order. Now, if you've been watching all of the videos and if you like the way that I walk you through this process, you know, I have a coaching program, not a training class, a coaching program. And part of this coaching program, I walk you through on the complete CCNA routing and switching certification and also on the CCNA security, okay? And I teach you, I coach you, and not just technical, but everything else that you need to be a badass, high-paid, and successful network or systems engineer. Now, if you want more details, that should be a link underneath this video, probably in the description where you can get all of the details. And by the way, I only work with a few people because I'm really picky on the people that I choose for the coaching program because I need to make sure that I can help you and I need to make sure that you're gonna do everything that I'm gonna ask you, okay? Because that's the only way that I know that you will be able to get results. And few people, you know, are able to go through this process. It's a 12 week, really intense process. Okay, so that should be the link underneath this video. So now, let's go back here on our network, okay? So we have all the connections up and running. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna see by any chance, right, if this computer is able to communicate with this web, pay, uh, web server, you know, that one of the YouTube probably hundreds of servers that they have. So uh, this computer, just to make sure, let me double check. This is computer 210. 15, 20, 10. Okay, got it. So let me go to this PC, to that command prompt, and clear the screen, and ping. So I'm gonna ping uh, 210, 15, uh, 20, 10. And enter, and bam! Okay, we have no connection, okay? Now, this is new, this is completely new. As you can probably see right here, and I'm gonna do it one more time, Okay, we are getting two types of messages. Okay, we are getting the request timeout and we are getting the destination host and reachable. So let me tell you what that means, okay? And this is a question that I remember a few years back someone asked me on the job interview process. They told me and they showed me the, the, uh, uh, the uh, a screenshot about this error message. Like Jorge, can you tell me what that is? Why this computer is getting this type of a message? This, okay? Now, thank God I was able to answer that question, okay? So that basically means this, that when that computer, in this case, this computer, it's trying to say, hey, Gateway, you know, do what you're supposed to do. You know, I wanna connect to this network, so help me out, you know? Send this packet to this computer because I wanna connect with that computer from whatever network. And the router, what happens, the routers have a routing table. And that's basically what one of the things that the routers do. They're like, okay, I'm gonna help you to get to the network. But first, let me take a look at my routing table. Because if I don't have you, if I don't have that network that, you want, that you're trying to connect to, then I, I'm not gonna be able to help you. And that's basically this. It's basically saying to you, hey, I know you want to connect with this network, but I have no idea how to reach out to that network because I don't have it on my routing table, sorry. And that's exactly what this means. Destination, host, and reachable. So it was able to get to one point to the gateway. Okay, to the router, the one that's gonna help you out. But once it took a look at the routing table, they're like, uh, I have no idea about this network, so sorry, and boom, it sends the message back to you saying that, okay? So that's what's going on. So now, before going to the routing table of that gateway of that router, I wanna try something else. Let me see if I can connect to this one, okay? And I remember this port, we assigned the IP address 10, 10, 102. But let me double check, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna do enable, and config T. Well, I don't have to do config T. Let me do show IP interface brief, and I see, yep, that's correct, 10, 10, 102. Okay, so let me see if I can connect to that. Basically saying, hey, hi, how are you? You know, so let me go here, and uh, once again, the process is this. I'm gonna send the packet and say, hey, can you guide me and see if I can connect to it? And boom, it's gonna make sure if it's able to connect here at that port. 
So let's do that. So let me open my command prompt and let me do ping. And that's 10, 10, 100, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, that too. And no success. Okay, so what's going on? Request time. Oh, now we are getting something different. Request timeout. Okay, so now this is what I need you to think. And once again, when I talk to people in the field, they have no fucking clue. Honestly. And there's some of them, they're fucking CCNA certified. And they have no fucking clue. And the big difference between these two messages, error messages that you get. Now here, the request timeout, it's saying like the gateway, and like, hey, I went through my um, routing table, and yeah, I was able to find this network. But let me tell you, we didn't get a reply back from them. I was able to send it, but I didn't hear back from them. So that means that the router, right, that uh, this router where the computer is connected to on that network, it was able to find the network, and it was able to forward the packet, but didn't hear back from them. And that's why you're getting that request timeout. Huge difference when you know the big difference between those two because that tells a lot about you, about how much you know and what's going on in the background, okay? So make sure you take notes because you never know who's gonna um, ask you this question, okay? So, yeah, so let's go through a process, okay? So we know what's going on so far, so let me walk you through this process first. So this is what I will do first, okay? Let me go to the... Uh, router where this computer is connected to, like the network. Okay, so I'm gonna go here. Let me put it on the side. And I'm gonna do that. Let me do some magic. So IP route, because I wanna see the routing table. Bam! This is my routing table, you see? It will give you right here on the top some info, but right here it's what it matters, right here, okay? And as you can see, you have the C, that means it's connected. You have the L, that's the local, okay? So what this means is this router has two networks. They are connected to it. So physically they're connected to it. And that's the reason why we have two connected and two locals. And as you can see, we have those uh, IP range networks based on the two networks that are directly connected to this router. So when this computer wants to communicate with this, router, right, uh, about the network 10, 10, 100, the router knows about that network, you see, 10, 10, 100, it knows, okay, so, so far, so good, now let's go back, when we're trying to communicate, right, with one of the, uh, the web server from YouTube, right, uh, the 210, we don't have any network right here with the 210, because so far, the router only knows about networks that are they are directly connected to it. And so far we have two networks, one, two. Now let me take a look at this router, okay? Because we got the request timeout. That means because this router, you know, something with that router. So let me explain. By me going to the router. So let me go to this router, RW1, and I'm gonna do exactly the same. Show IP route, bam. And let's take a look. So what we have right here, it's the same. That's two networks, different networks, okay? We have the 10, 10, 100. Yes, we know because we are directly connected to it. And also we have the 172, 16. And that makes sense because that network is con uh, directly connected to it. But as you can see, we do not, once again, we do not have the network 10, 10, 10. We don't. Yes, we have that 10, 10, 100, but we do not have that 10, 10, 10. So basically, this is what's going on. The computer sends the packet. And the, suite, uh, the router is like, oh, I know where to send this to. And he send it. And the router gets the, I mean, the router gets the packet. But when it takes, when, you know, wraps, wraps uh, when unveils uh, the packet, or when he's going to take a look at it, he has no idea about the network 10, 10, 10. So that's the reason that router has no idea how to get back to you. He is getting the hello, hey, I wanna communicate with you. And the router is like, okay, um, I want to too. You know, I wanna communicate back to you, but I don't know how because I don't have it in my routing table. I don't know how to get back to you, okay? So that's what happens. It's like you're getting a, a, a letter in the mail and you're like, oh, you know, like a really nice letter and you wanna write back to that person, but that's no address. <laughs> for you to write back. So yes, it's a huge problem, okay? 
So one thing that we can do here, it's doing a static routing. And that's fine, it's gonna work. But imagine that you have 50 routers and you have to do one change based on a static routers. I mean, a static, uh, doing a static route. Yes, that's gonna take you days, okay? For you to go to each router and tell the router, hey, by the way, you know, be aware about this network. So let me do this command so you can be aware about the new network. Good, good. Now let me go to the second router, to the third router, and bam, all the way to 50, 100 routers. So it's not that efficient, okay? So as you can see now, I walk you through some more knowledge, okay, that you know now, okay? So what's gonna happen in the next video? I'm gonna start the process. I'm doing some static IP routing so you can see the difference, and also, and finally, talk about OSPF, okay? So we can end this lab. So make sure you go and watch video number 10, and I'm gonna talk to you there.